getting involved with creating a mural is so totally all-encompassing. I try to really hear what my client wants, then I draw what I'm capable of and come somewhere in between the two. And I just really hope to create a product that is a real win-win. It was nearly a year ago that students Isaac Thomas and Ashley Mathias took the idea for the mural to the Student Senate, and Emily Weinstein was chosen to paint it. I was presented with their ideas, Thomas's symbolic tree of education and Mathias's quotes honoring great leaders. Isaac Thomas had the idea of this great tree of education, which is what I ran with in my sketch. And then Ashley had the idea that she really wanted to include a tribute to the great leaders of our society. And we ended up doing that in the quotes that you'll see in the rocks. My clients wanted the mural to be portable. So, you know, done on panels. So I went to University Mall and they donated this enormous space through their arts initiative program, um, which was fabulous because rain or shine, I could be working on the mural. You know, it being 10 feet high, 64 feet long, they gave us a space that was that large. Emily came to me earlier this year in regards to the project that she had going on with Durham Tech, the 50th anniversary mural. And Emily had done a previous residency here, a mural project for Boylan Creek. And so she needed space again to produce this large mural. And we had the space here at University Mall. Having the space, we went ahead and ordered the high density board, 10 by four feet that came from the Netherlands. Now, of course, I looked all over the states to find something that was time-tested and proven reliable, but there was nothing here. So we did order these 16 panels from the Netherlands. My friend and fellow artist Alice Griffin 
was really marvelous when it came to really making the writing on the boulders very, very concise. She did a lot of the outlining and shadowing. The volunteer that really astounded me was Sarah Jones. She is working full-time, full-time student, and still she managed to come by the mural 10 to 15 hours a week. I was sitting in on a Durham Tech um, student senate meeting when Emily came to show us what she had prepared for the mural. Um, it was just a mock-up at that time. So she invited students to participate. Um, and I'm not an artist, but she said I could do calligraphy or lettering if I had good handwriting. And I do, so that's how I got involved in the project. And I must mention, Tom Russo was really wonderful in managing the project from beginning to end. And then we had photographers showing up, Dave Otto and Ruth Winchester Ware, that documented the process completely. Emily came to the show that I had in Chapel Hill last fall. I turned around and met Emily and she told me she was a photographer. And somehow we talked and I heard that she was an artist and she had done some of the murals that I had actually photographed. I had no idea how you did a mural. I'm not an artist, I'm a photographer, but not a painter. And one day I was walking through the mall here and I just happened to see her standing outside the door where the space where she's working. And she told me what was going on and I volunteered to come and uh, photograph and I've been coming ever since she started, typically two or three times a week. This is a, uh, a mural to celebrate uh, the 50th anniversary, I believe it is, of, of Durham Tech. And I came over there, and the uh, first time I came over, there were several students working with her, up there on the scaffolding, uh, painting here, here and there, and do, doing an incredible job. Again, this, this, it's just a, it's amazing to me how she's able to draw people in to, to make these uh, murals much more than just an individual enterprise. They become a community project once completed, we had the panels unbolted from the walls in the University Mall and very carefully taken over to the historic Nathaniel B. White building, which would be its permanent home overlooking the main courtyard. The creation depicts the tree of knowledge overlooking the city of Durham. Students around campus. Boulders inscribed with quotes from various visionary leaders. The stream of life flows through with the college's important dates swirling through the ripples of time.